way? Yeah, it took about maybe two minutes to get to that feeling because I think I forgot what it felt like to be in there. I wouldn't say ring rust. Well, maybe if it was ring rust, like two minutes of ring rust. And I was like, you know, a little bit of the hell is going on in here. You know, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's been a couple years, but once I shook that off, busted through it and got the job done. Yeah, so obviously, you know, it's big, how did uh, your love for fighting, that's what brought you back, and now you've got an awesome fight, an awesome victory, and I, I reckon we're going to see you again soon. Yeah. Well, I'd like to fight uh, March 28th in Columbus. I mean, that's my home. I guess I won't get the main event, but maybe co-main, you know, maybe Dana listening here. Anybody in mind in particular? I haven't even thought about that, you know? Yeah, I don't really think about who I'm gonna fight. Fights always against yourself, right? <laughs> um, no, I was thinking, you know, the techniques, right? Like, what do I need to do to get out of this? And, um, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't in a precarious spot but if I made a small mistake, it was going to be a very precarious spot real quick. So I was trying to think of my next couple moves, and um, fortunately, I, you know, I did the right things and prevented any further damage in there. Yeah, it just it, like again once i kind of got into the rhythm i mean it just felt so easy you know like it felt like i mean this is what i do you know and this is this is who i am this is what's in my blood and you know once you get me in that zone man it's going to be hard to beat me um i mean I, you guys all know i've won some i've lost some um but you know when, once i get in that zone man there's not too many guys that can beat me they're gonna have to do something special to take me out yeah. Now you've had that first fight, you've got the victory. Do you still feel that way? Do you still feel like this? Like I'd like to keep that feeling. We'll see if it keeps going, but uh, well, you know, we got to play it by ear. I'm not going to force anything. I'm going to let my let it be organic. Mark's the man, the greatest. Um, you know, and that's just. A, when you talk about that, that's not just during the fight, but every day in practice, he brings that energy into the room that gets you motivated and, and gets you fired up. And um, that's what it's all about is that daily grind. How much did it help having him here for fighting and kind of loosening you up a little bit? He marks a character, you know? He yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, he likes to do that. <laughs> um, he keeps it fun, right? And, you know, I'm a pretty serious guy, probably not as much of a sense of humor as I should have sometimes, I guess. but. Uh, have a, that's why I love having a guy like him around, keep it a little lighthearted and you know, keep things fun, and but also extreme focus, and he understands the grind. Being off for two years, you know, how, how did this fight we compare to you know, maybe ones in the past? Have you noticed anything different just with the whole experience of just leading up to this fight? Well, for me personally, I was just much happier. You know, like I've really put a lot of emphasis on uh, uh, trying to inspire my kids and, and be a role model for them. and. Um, students in my gym, the, uh, the kids in my gym, things like that. And part of that is, you know, not walking around with it, always with a chip on your shoulder, even though you got to have some of that, you know, you got to have some swag and stuff. But um, I also got to show them you can be happy on Sunday, whether you win or lose and, and that you can get through anything. And, you know, I, I got to keep uh, and it helped for myself to just stay more relaxed and, you know, look, be happy, man. Enjoy this like you're on the biggest stage doing the craziest shit that you could think to do, you know, next to like going to war or something, right? Like that we, we know I'm sorry, right. we know fighters are fighting injured most of the time. How important was having two years off and uh, what injuries did you have that you healed up uh, from mentally was the injury that I had to heal from. The physical injuries aren't shit. Right? I mean that they happen to all of us all the time. I was injured coming into this fight, I'm injured now, I'll be injured for the next one. That don't matter. The mental injury is the is where it gets to you. That time off, I was able to heal my mind, and I'm a new person now. I feel better, more energy, refreshed, reinvigorated. And if I decide that I want to pursue a championship in this division, they better watch the hell out. I don't know if it's what I want to pursue with my life right now. I want to 
take it one fight at a time, enjoy my life, enjoy my time with my kids. But if I decide to, um, I'm a serious threat to these sons of bitches. Just a caveat to James' question about white leaving. I mean, after a two-year layoff, obviously in two years, until the two years of age, does that uh, make any difference on, on the weight cutting part of it at all? Or? This was the best weight cut I've ever had. I, my weight was on point. I, I, everything, but it was just spot on. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked it to be any better. And it's probably because I wasn't cutting weight every five, you know, three, four months, you know, and, and I handled this uh, entire process very businesslike, very regimented. Whereas before it was like, I'm going through the motions again, got to fucking cut weight again, man, you know? So this time it was much more professional. I got a new mindset for it. My mind's clear. It's consolidated. I know exactly what I want. I know where I'm at. I know who I am and I know what I can do. One more for me. I remember when you first went to Colorado. You talked about, you know, one of the things about your move out there was that you just had a gym with you out of town in it. It was kind of one of the reasons that led you there. Now that you're back, um, what, what's changed back home? Do you have high-level guys more so than you did? So we have less high-level guys. And ultimately, I think it's more of a, uh, a, a hindrance than a help. Like, I didn't, that wasn't what I needed. I didn't need all the high-level guys. I didn't need to go and go to war every day and have egos and fighting amongst one another. What I needed was in here. So I came back home, fixed in here, and fought better. What was it specifically you said, healing the mind? Long story. Yeah, I'll read my book one day. Yeah. You've had a lot of success like outside the cage in the business world with your gym and just a lot of things that have gone right for you. How much has that translated to your fight career and also this win tonight as well? Just things that are really fire. Well, I learned a lot from starting a business. I wouldn't say I've had a lot of success with it. I mean, it's only a year old in my gym. and you know, it's Yeah, it's still there, man. Made the first year, I think, 80% don't or something. But uh, I learned a lot from that, man. You know, um, particularly dealing with others, you know, like learning how to say no, pushing away the, the unessentials, taking in what's necessary, getting rid of the rest, clear mind, clear heart, clear soul, clear fight. Did you? Uh, yeah. I was trying to embrace the whole thing. But it's scary shit though. It's hard to embrace. <laughs> you know? It's like like if you're skydiving, you're like, should I embrace this? Like, you know, it's crazy, man. It's a crazy, crazy sport we do. I don't know what the hell it makes us go out there and do it. Uh, but I hope that, you know, people can do great things, see, see what I do, and it can help them to do great things. What well, made you wake up one morning and go, I'm getting back? Yeah, that was, uh, it, it certainly wasn't a one morning thing. Um, I think I've, I've realized how good I really was. Um, you know, with that time off, you know, I tore my ACL too, you know, and, and that was time off, like real time off, you know, not in the gym, not rolling around, not hitting pads. And then I got back to it and I'm teaching other people and helping the gym. And I realized like, dude, I know what the hell I'm doing. Like, I'm pretty good at this. This is what I'm made to do. I got to go do it. I got the opportunity to go do it on this stage. Did like, you reach out to Dana or did somebody? Or Sean Shelby, yeah. Yeah. How has coaching, how has coaching made you a better fighter? Well, that's part of um, consolidating, right? Coaching most of the time, the vast majority of the time, you know, especially with a young gym like mine, um, we're not coaching UFC fighters, world-class athletes right now. So you're like, you know, you're getting all the way back to those basics. And again, that's what um, I think I really did uh, in preparation for this fight and, and uh, in life in general. Just get back to the basics, get back to who you are. Um, and you can't never make those good enough. I'm sure it's the same in your guys' career, right? Like a, the fundamental basics is what makes the greats, not the garbage, you know, over here. Did you make the decision when you're back on the well, I think what I was saying there is like, if I decide I'm, I want to make a run and I want to threaten the top guys, 
Um, but you are back if you want more. Yeah, I'll fight more for sure. Um, but, you know, there's different paths and different careers and different junctures. And, you know, some people are fighting just for a paycheck or some people are fighting just to have another fight or retirement fight. You know, a lot of different things. Not everybody's fighting, you know, to get to a title fight or whatever. And uh, I'm just saying if I decide to do that, I will threaten all these guys. Um, there's no doubt in my mind. I have it in me to do it. Um, but, you know, that's a different lifestyle than fighting because you enjoy it too. How does Matt Brown of almost 2020 compare with Matt Brown in 2010? Well, well, in 2010, I hated everybody, everyone, and I was angry all the time. I had a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to fuck up everybody I seen, and I trained like I was a freaking madman. Uh, so I'm not that guy no more. Now I'm <laughs> much happier, you know, I'm in a much better place in my life. Not that that was even a bad place. I'm glad to have went through that phase. But I got kids, you know, and you know I don't want my kids walking around, you know, do it, being me, being who I was. So it's gotta be exhausting. I don't think you'd be that angry and just mad all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I had a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys seen it. If any media guys were around back, we've then. interviewed you. Yeah, we felt it. Yeah, like yeah, I had a hard time, you know, putting sentences together. You know, I'm just like, dude, like I'm ready to fuck someone up, man. You know, like I, I don't be talking to you, you know. But that also, you know, it got me to where I was at. And now, I use that energy specifically. Now, I still have that same energy. I still got a lot of, you know, anger and rage and stuff, but uh, I use it positively. Channel it. It's exactly the right word for it. Channel it the right direction towards the right things and um again you know kids change everyone and maybe they soften me up a little bit uh the grappling also i think you're a better grappler now way better grappler my coach over there cameron changed my life man much better if if he wasn't here i wouldn't have uh you know won this fight tonight i'll just put this out in the universe and i would like to see you against the winner of this fight that's happening right now that's definitely on my carry because there will be I can see that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll fight anyone, though. I mean, I don't, I don't you can ask Sean Shelby, like, I don't ask for names. I, I tell him, you don't even have to tell me the name. Just send me the date. I don't care. You know, that, like, the fight is about myself. It's not about the person standing across the cage. Congratulations, Absolutely. sir. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you, man.